Now, it is no secret that I love a good simulator game. I mean, hell, we have covered plenty on the channel already. However, not enough as it would seem, because today I need to introduce you to Internet Cafe Simulator 2. This game truly is the definition of sod it, why not? Want to punch XQC in the face whilst he's out on his morning jog? Go for it. Want to send your bodyguard to beat up Trump because he left without paying? Uh, say less. Well, you get my point. Oh, and fun fact as well, this is actually the last game that I ever got all of the achievements on before the achievement grind started, so... There you go. So let's waste no time at all and get straight into it with one of the most bizarre games that we've covered on the channel yet. Welcome to the Achievement Grind. Now the very first step is to give our cafe a name that symbolises us as the new place to be. Ah, that'll do nicely. Well, with Schmeckles named, we need to open her up for the first time. Well, we shall in a moment. First we leave our house and outside we find that there has been a murder. Now I don't know who did it, but the death was very sus. However, when interacting with the corpse, we unlock the first achievement, Reporter. And folks, I'm actually just going to let play what actually happened, because it'll really set the tone for this game and the video. Amogus. And no, I did not edit that in the slightest. Anyway, carrying on. On the way to our shop, we quickly attack a ginger who very quickly puts us in our place, before having a look at some more of the locals that will be gracing our shop. Let's see, we have the family man Vin Diesel, Greenface Trump, Lala from Wish, Elon Musk, a nice collection of individuals. For the first time though, we set foot in our shop. It needs a quick clean, which we are very happy to apply. With the floor now walkable, we order our parts and let the Amazon camel bring us our gear, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. But with our very first computer set up and working, it's time to open the door to Schmeckles for the very first time. When we're ready to provide the masses with all of their electronical needs, we also unlock the next achievement tutorials for finishing the tutorials, I imagine, really. It is a shame though, as our first customer is so forward with his watching materials, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, I'm just thankful he paid me for it. Unlike the next customer, he thinks he can walk away without paying, so we bash his brain in. Unlike our runnings with the ginger from earlier, we easily win this fight and when we beat this man to death for $4, we unlock Fighter. However, that's the first day done. We go home for our rest and sleep well after such a successful first day of Schmeckles. So let's keep the momentum going. Arriving at work the next day, we find a local homeless bloke who's wanting something done. We accept his quest immediately as now we have the opportunity to lay out Vin Diesel and that is just something that I could not pass on. We find the family man and proceed to beat him into the floor. When we do, we also unlock the next achievement as you would expect, family. Feeling wonderful afterwards, we then ordered our first arcade machine. Now this is actually something that I remembered from last time. These arcade machines are an absolute money magnet. Now it may seem like a lot up front, but every time a customer uses one of these machines, I get $120. So as you can imagine, with three or four machines and a good steady flow of customers, these things will pay for themselves and make us quite rich quite early on. However, that's enough about arcades. We have another achievement in us. As whilst we're getting to know the locals, a policeman decides to inspect us. No idea why, but we pass with flying colours unlocking us police investigation. For the next little while though, it's back to running the shop. And though it may not look like much now, trust me, it's going to look a whole lot better as soon as the money starts rolling in. Now, another one of the locals isn't the hero we wish he was. He is in fact a bastard thief that will try to steal your computers when you aren't looking. When he gets ready to help himself to my stuff, we in turn press his soft spot and unlock the next achievement, Thief. Now, at the shop you have a main computer and on here you can do an actual surprising amount. From gambling on slots to upgrading the shop, hell, you can even buy totally real games that totally really exist. But the computer is where we also get our next achievement, as when we trade Bitcoin on there in the most magical fashion that you could possibly imagine. You guessed it, we unlocked another achievement with Crypto. Now remember the thief earlier as I described him as a scourge to society? Well it turns out he is not the only one, as this man in blue is the saboteur. When the bastard did this to me. With the shop absolutely ruined, we started to piece it back together and closer to our next achievement. Now a couple of days of good profit goes by, so we finally treat ourselves to our first room extension, hopefully the first of many, and right now we're just saving all of our money ready for a rehaul. By now it's also time for our next achievement as well. Now earlier we were stopped by the police, we let them search us or something and we were on our way. However this time I decided to run. When the police try to inspect us, this time we do not comply and thankfully this also unlocks us an achievement, as when we get rid of the 50 we also unlock Lawless. Now as you may be noticed, 
noticing the achievements are pouring in. Internet Cafe Simulator 2 is definitely not a game that is shy for giving you achievements for pretty much anything that you could possibly do. So it may look like we're making no progress at all, but honestly, we're just unlocking achievements too fast for you to be able to tell right now. And to prove the point even further, let's unlock four more achievements in the next 10 minutes of gameplay, so enjoy. Now, earlier I mentioned that you could play slots on the computer. Well, this is where our next achievement lies as well, as we have to unlock some free spins. It's honestly as simple as it gets, as I just set it to auto spin. And the horrendous pain of having to click is over, and we just wait now. We wait until we get three of these delicious sweets, and when we do, the free spins begin, also unlocking us, well, free spins. Straight after that, we sell Celebrate by visiting a local establishment. This one has a drunk bathroom gas mask man, as well as the prick from the Mafia City ads. Ah, damn, I guess that makes me the level one crook. Ah, bollocks. But my rank aside, here we just have to play a nice, friendly game of blackjack. The gods are kind and far too generous, as just for playing this game to begin with, we also unlock the achievement blackjack. And hey, I did say that this game chucks the achievements at you, but that's not the only achievement up for grabs at this table, as beating him is fine and profitable, however we need to win with a blackjack, and like a miracle, we get it. However, we don't get the achievements, rigged. But of course it's rigged, look who's running the ship. Guess we'll just have to sit back down and try again. Oh, looks like we arose to rank 99, took down the boss, and unlocked 21 in the process. How magical. By now, though, we have been making some decent progress, and money is starting to slowly trickle in. Next, we buy a mascot for the door so that customers are more likely to enter, and a bodyguard to beat up those who don't pay. Now, next in the city, there is a seller. He buys and sells many wares if we has the coin. From room spray to blank CDs and mouse pads, he has it all. And for our next achievement, we just have to sell an unspecific amount of things to him. Easily done when we just buy everything in his shop and immediately sell it straight back to him. When we do it enough, we unlock Salesman. Now, over the next week, I'm surprised to reveal that we didn't actually unlock any achievements. However, we made great progress in getting our cafe up to a touch more of a gamer-friendly level. We got more arcade machines, more computers, and we were grinding our level and stats so that more customers show up more often. The place smells nicer for longer, and such like that. A couple of days later, however, the homeless man returns to us with another task, and it's a pretty insane one. Now, funnily enough in the flat right above our house is another internet cafe that has just opened up and it's doing fairly well for itself and we can't be having that so the homeless man gives us a bomb to give them as a pretty intense gift once planted we return to him and watch in horror as the entire place explodes and we unlock flying cafe good job that didn't affect our wife and son in the room above them great idea that was but hey even if it didn't we still would have needed that achievement if you understand what i'm saying oh you do good with money starting to funnel into the business quite nicely, we upgraded some more. We got some more money-making arcade machines and even installed a kitchen for some reason. Oh, I remember. So we can hire a gourmet chef for my future waifu. Whoa, oh, stop booing. I'm partnered with Gamersups for God's sake. It is a legal requirement for me to hire this woman. Oh, and also 10% off Gamersups with code Jazzy. Link in the description below to get a waifu of your own. Oh, what a shameless plug. Anyway, my point is that things were happening for Schmeckles. In fact, we also have our next big purchase and next achievement. As for some reason, we can buy a hot dog cart for just outside of our establishment. And when we do, you guessed it, we unlocked hot dog. Oh, and fun fact, this hot dog stand is a complete waste of money. I bought this for over a grand and a half and it took me a week to make $60. To put that into perspective with the arcade machines from earlier, so I'm very thankful that there was at least an achievement tied to this waste of money. With money coming in already at a faster rate, our upgrade started to pour in as well. We bought a latrine, changed the decor to a much more edgy and neon red, and everything is starting to go our way. We're also at the point now where the shop is fully dependable. We do not need to accept money anymore, so the shop is self-sustaining, which gives us more time to do other things and crack on with some more of the side achievements, as nothing can pretty much stop our progress now. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just get blown. Wait. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that bastard saboteur. Oh, also, fun fact. In this game, you have a wife and child. Now, we all love having a great family, of course, but something rather interesting is that we can put our child to work. We get curious and do just that, only to realise that our child's job is begging outside of our home. This is our child, and that is his work. You've, you've got to respect the hustle, I suppose. With the shop self-sustaining, though, I decided to start buying tech needed for another achievement, as we need to buy rigs to farm Bitcoin. Now, this gets bloody expensive. It really does. However, 
However, when we just start our Bitcoin mining journey by buying the appropriate tech, we also unlock our next achievement as well, mining. There is also an achievement for mining a single Bitcoin. However, this will take some serious grinding as the progress to do it takes forever. And we will need a lot more upgrades to our mining rigs, so this will take a while. So just know that throughout all of the upgrades that we're making, we are definitely putting some money into these as well, but more on that later. Now, earlier I mentioned that you could buy totally legit games on your computer. Well, it turns out that we need all of them. So since we've already started to add some of the top range gaming PCs to our cafe, of course we need the games to follow them. So when we buy every single game on the list that we can, we also unlock Game Lover. Also, I can't lie, I feel like these achievement names could have been better. However, I've been called out in the past on hating on achievement names too much, so that's all I'm going to say on the matter, and I'm going to leave it there. So, let's continue. Money at this point was also seriously rolling in, and we were starting to earn about five to $10,000 a day, if we were lucky. So we bought the upstairs extension, a boatload more arcades and computers to keep making sure that the money was rolling in faster and faster. But with that, folks, we're honestly getting fairly close to the end of the grind. We've got a couple more miscellaneous achievements first before we can start the grind to earning a million dollars, so let's tackle some more of those now so we can just get straight to the grindy part of this game. So the next achievement we decided to go for was to use our genius and mad computer skills to crack a game. Now honestly it is a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be however it is still somewhat simple once you know what you're doing. For this you just have to send packets to crack an IP for a game in a specific way so that you don't get caught. The computers will then scan for the port numbers and once you find the right one that's done. Now it does take a moment as I wasn't the best at sending these packages out without the devs of the Legend of the Green Boy noticing and shutting me down. But eventually we get the code that we need and unlock the next achievement, crack. Now I actually make a bit of a mistake leaving it there, as there is another achievement up for grabs, so we'll come back to this one later once I've realised that I've been an idiot. For now though, it's just time for the next two achievements that both revolve around the game Warcry. Again, it's two more tasks for us on the computer, as on there we can actually play games, and one of them is Warcry, which puts us in the shoes of a lone hero who must just go kill the local wildlife for no reason. Now the two achievements that we need here are for getting the best armour in the game and killing the Iron Golem, so hopefully we should unlock both pretty close together as we need the best armor in the game to take out said golems. Now honestly this game is kind of fun I suppose, however it is so janky to use on the computer as the camera flicks everywhere as you're trying to move or attack with your hero. So most of the time I was just looking at the computer in a really odd angle whilst trying to make progress. However our hero has to start small and work his way up. Spiders and slime are our first enemies, easy enough to go down and with them dying repeatedly we got coins to upgrade our tech and move on to bigger and more profitable profitable killing. Skeletons, big plants and ogres, we eventually cut them all down with our sword. After about 30 to 40 more minutes of just farming these pathetic adversaries, we had enough for a full set of the best armour. So when we bought it, we unlocked full gear. And with this full gear, we can now put the iron golems in their place and also unlock the next achievement as well, MMO's golem. Now that's enough of that game thankfully, we just get back to perfecting our cafe even more. More gaming PCs, arcades and we even started to add some consoles to it. Now I don't know much about this town here that Elon Musk and XQC reside in, however I don't think many people would pay over a grand for 20 minutes of console use. However, that's the kind of money that consoles apparently are bringing in, which honestly is not a problem for me as grinding to a million dollars will take longer than you might imagine. Now it's time for me to fix my earlier mistake. Now when we got the code to crack a game, I left it there. In fact, we needed to activate that game properly for another achievement. So with the old code ruined, we cracked the new game, this time League of Doom. With the right port found, this time we actually fully crack the damn thing and unlock the achievement cracker. And yes, I feel a bit stupid for going through the pain of cracking a game only to give up the moment we do it, however we've rectified it now and the achievement is ours. With that folks, there are now only three more achievements left. To earn $100,000, a million dollars and to earn and sell a single bitcoin and that one's next. Now over the last couple of weeks in game, as I said, we have managed to upgrade a lot and one of those upgrades is the amount of crypto miners that we've stuffed under the stairs. It is truly a huge amount. So for now we just bide our time and hope that eventually we will get a single bitcoin for a crumb of an achievement. So day by day the number went up until eventually our crypto store said that we had a single coin. We panic and immediately sell that coin on the spot for over 25 grand which was quite nice but even more importantly we unlocked crypto miner. 
Now it's just time to farm money, as since we don't even need to interact with the customers anymore, it's more or less just a waiting game. By this time we'd also introduced VR tables, upgraded everything to their absolute maximum and just started to wait. However, there was a slight problem. So obviously nobody was expecting Internet Cafe Simulator to be the best programmed game in the world, however endgame, this is when the problems really started to show. From invisible NPCs, our crew getting stuck in the desks and the chairs, to the entire place just randomly blowing itself up with no reason other than I assume dodgy hitboxes or collision stuff. Genuinely, you could go home, sleep, come back the next day and find your entire cafe destroyed for no reason other than one of the arcade machines decided to fling itself to the other side of the room and knock everything out of the way on its path. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up is because it really hurts the end game. Not only do we have pretty much every single skill, every single crew member, every single room, all of our tech is absolutely the best it can be, so there's nothing really more that we can advance here. So with all of our hardware getting all of these computers and arcade machines and all of our money, it becomes really annoying where instead of being able to revel at our good work, we're instead having to fix the shop every single day because the game just isn't programmed well. And yeah, it kind of spoils the end game for me here, I can't lie. However, more on that at the end. However, we just need the two achievements and we are done. So we didn't really even do much anyway, waiting for the lovely patrons to separate themselves with their money. A couple of days later, we unlocked the first money achievement, as when we woke up in the morning, we unlocked richest for getting to $100,000. So we are officially one tenth of the way there. It's time to wait again until our wallets get much thicker. During this time as well, we also continue to make small improvements and adjustments to the shop to absolutely maximise profits. What's the saying? You've got to beat people up to make money or something stupid like that, I don't know. But for here at least, that is true. We just continued to wait to get richer though. It certainly took an hour or two and it did drag quite a bit as there was nothing more for us to do in improving the game. But thankfully the waiting pays off and after about another week in game, we hit that delicious 1 million monies. With that we go to sleep and when we awake, we unlock the final achievement, Millionaire. Now it's official, we have the best internet cafe in the entire world, we are the richest man that has ever existed and oh yeah, the grind is over. Now, as I mentioned at the start, Internet Cafe Simulator 2 was the first game that I ever played, and honestly, I loved it. Absolutely adored it. However, now having played a lot more simulation games, it kind of puts this into perspective that this one actually isn't the best. With the right upgrades at the start, you don't even have to interact with your shop, which makes everything just a waiting simulator for you whilst you try to get the money upgrades and the achievements. And that is a shame. And I said once you get to the end game, the game's programming goes to smeg and you actually feel a little bit punished for your hard work. But also, please don't feel like I'm being too negative about this game, folks, because honestly, it is a lot of fun still. It's also not the longest, which helps in regards to the content that it provides. Unfortunately, though, having just played Food Truck and Gas Station Simulator, I know that it does get better for these kind of games. But I am pretty sure that most people will still enjoy themselves on this. It just has its issues that need ironing out. However, with that, let's get to the stats. For Internet Cafe Sim 2, it took us a whopping 11 hours to grind all 23 achievements that come with it. For my rating, I'm going to give this game a 6.5 out of 10. As I said, I think most people will have a lot of fun with this game to begin with, and I would recommend it. However, I don't see myself personally playing this game ever again, which is a shame. For difficulty of the achievements, I'm going to be giving it a 2. Now, it's pretty much dead simple, however, there are 2 or 3 achievements that you have to go out of your way for, and can be a touch complicated, such as the cracking the games achievement or grinding to a mill that can be a touch, well, grindy. So, I do think a 2 is fair. For the hardest achievement, I'm going to be giving it to earning a million, as you'll have to do pretty much everything else in the game to get to this point. And to get a million, it's pretty much just going to be a waiting game for you, so I would say that this is the hardest. But there we go, folks. That is all for today. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And you will have to let me know if you've tried this game or are willing to try this in the near future. Honestly, I still would recommend it. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more achievement grinding and content as well. It would be lovely to have you stick around. And speaking of sticking around, why don't you also swing by my Twitch as well, where we go for the achievement grinds live. It would be oh so lovely to have you. So please come watch me suffer. I'm playing horrible games right now. It, it's painful. However, of course, as well, a massive thank you to all of my Patreon followers as well. You a lot are the absolute best. I don't need to keep saying it, but you are. Thank you so much for the continued support. And folks, thank you once again for watching. That is it. I've rambled for far too long already today. I really hope to see you again in the future. Have a fantastic week and yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.